Oh, there we go. Hey guys, so this is another unboxing video, this time of the Lomography Smartphone Scanner. So I've just taken it out of the uh, shipping box here, and what you get is this nice little box here. Um, comes cellophane wraps and everything like that. Um, download the Lomo Scanner app and edit your share, uh, edit and share your scans perfectly. Um, for iPhone and Android, that's not actually released yet. That will be out in the next month, I'd say. Um, for the time being, they've recommended that you download um, Photoshop Express for your iPhone or for Android. There's some other photo program, but I'm not sure which. Um, so that's what it looks like when you get inside. There's a nice picture of some film here, and it says the uh, Mogfrey Smartphone Film Scanner. And what you'll find inside that box is uh, two parts. This being the first part, this is the base. Um, so you can see it comes with a little insert um, which holds, that's for the Lomo Kino. Um, you've got a nice little winder here. Um, I believe if you pull it outwards, it will actually allow you to. Um, Pull film straight out as well. And you just got an on-off switch. Um, I've already put batteries in, and then this is the battery compartment. Um, and you get to the top of the camera, and you've got this nice holder um, button here to pull the sides out, which are ratcheted, and then you can slide the entire unit across like so until you reach your desired point. Um, so I'll show you that in action. Um, these parts actually come off. Um, if you're using an iPhone 4S, they recommend that you only use two parts. Um, which is pretty useful. Because um, obviously if you want to put in your rucksack, that's quite a bit of the size and knocks off. Um, just take out this Lomakino slide part. Um, and I'll just stick this on. I uh, don't know if you can see in here, but if I just flick that, you can see that the backlight comes on. It's really quite dark in there, um, which means that it'll make it a much easier print. So what you need to do is just take your iPhone, um, just open up something like uh, the camera app, just so that you can see what you're going to view. Um, when it comes to actually doing it, you want to use something like Photoshop Express, like I said earlier. Um, so if you just line that up to start off with, um, ratchet it in, make sure it's nice and tight, it uses foam pads so you can't damage your phone, um, and push on the button like so, and you want to slide it until you can see into that hole. Um, quite land it up right there. So let's just put that locks into place. And it's worth trying to straighten off the edges if you can. Uh, there we go. It's pretty well locked in place. So I'm just going to open up the Photoshop Express app, um, then ask you to use your camera. And the actual process of using it is really simple. If you just make sure, obviously, you've got your film developed um, from Boots over in England or Jessup's, although they've gone bust now. There's a few online stores all over the world. Um, AG Photographic in Birmingham I found quite good. Um, in America, I think you can use places like Walmart or something like that. So you just want to take your standard film negative, like, I don't know which, let's just, just pick one at random. Um, these photos are taken on Olympus OM10. Um, might be in the OM one. So you want to make sure you've got it up the right way to start off with. Um, just this way. And you just place it like that. So it's almost going in, if you can see that. And then you want to just rotate this. Um, it's got an arrow on it, so you know which way. Um, 
I'm just going to put this down because it's a bit fiddly to get lined up to start off with. As you can see, you just roll it in. If I show you on this side, so you roll it in, it comes into here, like so. Um, really nice thing about it is that it still shows all your sprocket holes. So if you're using something like a sprocket rocket, which they said that you'll be able to do um, in, well, fairly soon, um, you'll be able to do that. Um, you can stitch the photos together and keep everything which is in that edge um, in place. So that'll be quite a nice little function there. Um, let's just... Um, I believe I've not had much luck with this that you have to go to uh, invert or um, I think it's invert certainly a couple of little things but they didn't actually uh, inform me on the Lomography um, Lomography video so uh, it's kind of a mystery at the minute but if I find something which does the job really well, I shall make sure to keep you posted. Um, so just doing that. Just. At the moment, it looks really overexposed. I um, don't know if you can see that. So at the moment, it looks just ridiculous. Um, but like I say, in time they will be doing it. At the moment, you could probably just take all the photos which you want, um, and then just stick them into Photoshop and invert them, or there's probably other free software which does it. But anyway, overall, excellent products. Um, fit it in your rucksack, anything like that. You're not gonna have a problem carrying it about. It's it's really light, other than the weight of the two batteries and the uh, the holder section is little bit more chunky with the foam pads and things like that but it's a very lightweight unit it's very compact for what it does um, you're gonna get the equivalent of whatever the spec is on your phone um, I'm using an iPhone 4s so it's got some decent optics on it compared to the iPhone 4 um, or iPhone 3G things like that iPhone 5 I'd imagine would be excellent with it Android I don't do too much about but I'm sure that'd do just as good job um, so anyway I hope this has helped you out if you're thinking about what it does um, when it comes out um, I think it will be in the shops in about two months time because they did really very well on the Lomography um, Kickstarter which where I got this from and it's only delivered about half an hour ago so um, anyway I hope you enjoy this and I'll try and upload some more Lomography videos in the meantime um, with various cameras um, and probably a few techniques just to showcase how to use them. So I shall look forward to you following me if you like this um, and I shall see you guys soon. Got a weird little curly bit there. Yeah, I shall see you soon. Bye.